I'm Pat Gunn, and this is episode, well, let's call it episode uh, 15 of my Let's Play of Fallout 4. I accidentally skipped episode 13 with the last episode, and I think we're just going to roll with it, because uh, I guess it's an accidental reference to the fact that a lot of superstitious people have, over the times, had their buildings uh, skip a 13th floor, and that's kind of historical and interesting. And sometimes just it's uh, fun to have found art, I suppose. So you will have noticed I've, uh, I spent some time improving my weapons. I actually have a tracking scope now on this because I ripped it off another weapon that I didn't really want to use and attached it to this. The other thing is I went around a lot of my settlements scrounging around for... Uh, for... Oh, but what are they called? Um, optics, optics components to make this uh, this weapon, the Tesla cannon, all I wanted it to be, and it is now. Um, but I did have to, yeah, I had to really hop around all my other settlements, the empty ones, uh, to get them to that state. But let's uh, try it out. I don't remember the Sparky. I think that's the dog that we healed before. Looks like he's still hanging out here. Hi, Sparky. He's a good boy. Okay. Looks like we don't actually have any foes around here. Maybe we had that at the end of the last video. So, what we're going to do, we're going to keep on with this mechanist quest line because I'm really keen to have all that stuff done. And you're going to see me making really good use of, or really, at least quite a, a lot of use of uh, this Tesla cannon. So it is near fun Fanoil, whatever it is, uh, Effen Hall. So we'll fast travel there. This is a very dangerous place to fast travel to, so there's a decent chance we'll end up being immediately killed by super mutants with rocket launchers. Depending on where this fast travel marker puts us down, let's find out. Immediately duck. Um, okay. We're in danger, but we're not immediately dead. Let's... And there are the rockets. Okay, so there's a super mutant. Now again, our theme here... Fine, those are useful. And I'm betting that my companion has been Enemies over here. Oh, protocols engaged. The ours. Again, fortunately, Ada at this point is pretty much super awesome. We need to at least uh, survive these battles. Oh. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice weapon. Very nice. are down to half health, though. Um, so yeah, you can see what I was talking about with this not being a particularly safe place to travel to. There is a missile launcher aboard, and it looks like super mutants just kind of hang out up here because it gives them a, a good sight of anybody approaching, which makes sense. It's not the best settlement, but they're super mutants. You kind of have to cut them some slack. Okay, hopefully on the way to doing this, we can get a few... Oh, fudge, I did not mean to go inside here. <coughs> uh, let's head 
back out. No doubt there's a lot of interesting stuff down there. I don't quite remember what it is. It might just be Radiant Quests. But we're trying to at least make it to the Mechanist Lair. We might not actually complete the Mechanist Lair in one sitting. So this might be the first video that I've done so far where we end it in the middle of a dungeon. And I'm using the term dungeon a little bit loosely here. Come on. Yeah, loading this exterior cell. For some reason, the uh, the term cell is used in Fallout to refer to a, a game area. That's interesting. So this would be a, a neat place for kids to play. Um because they, they get a great view of the airport and all the parks and stuff. It would be quite pleasant before the war, I think. Here you can see a house. This feels like it'd be a pretty dangerous place to settle. Uh, Oop. What's that? Even without super mutants. I'll wear your guts around my neck! <laughs> So the mutant hound was carrying a baseball, which is kind of cute. I don't know if super mutants would actually throw a baseball for the super mutant hounds, but it's nice to think that they would. Yeah, this is barely a settlement. They've done some blocking off of approaches, but it's not. They didn't really put in the effort. Here's fine. Here's something. Okay, it's just, uh, just water. Nothing... <coughs> nothing that special. So, <coughs> so I've messed up a little bit here somehow. I meant to... Oh, budge. Oh. It's, it's not a great problem. I guess maybe a, an... You could imagine in, in the story an unencumbered person that could just sit on that. Maybe war dog or a cat or something like that. You can kind of see that the Charles has flooded uh, in the absence of humans. Or maybe just in the years since without any uh, pumping efforts or damming efforts. So, our target here, we're getting near the building where the Mechanist lives. We leveled up. So what are we gonna get? We could do, could do higher level scrap or gun. Science is tempting, but we don't have uh, that takes that's a few more levels out. Robotics expert would probably be a good choice because this lets us turn enemy robots against each other. And I think it's uh, a requirement for doing some uh, For doing some of the uh, some of the robot enhancements. Got it. So I think there's another entrance to this place um, located above the store, up on the first floor. It's interesting, again, uh, how much flooding Boston has suffered in this reality. I kind of wonder if global warming is a thing in the Fallout universe or not. So we're going to keep on grabbing everything we can in here because having gotten that perk, there might be some enhancements that we can do to Stay there. Uh, I'd be that happy we can to help if I can. I did not mean to Let's go. tell you to Certainly. stay anywhere. Fuses, dust fans, basically everything that we can get will be potentially useful to uh, to build mods for Ada while we're down here. Which will probably help us... It might help us a little bit at least. Let's see, vacuum tubes and fuses and glue. Glue probably being one of the more important. 
the fuel is oil, and oil is another one of those things where you just, you're not going to find a whole lot of it. I wonder what it is up here. This just might be the main entrance. fire. But here we are. This is the main part. Somewhere around here is the main entrance uh, to this place. If I had access to a vacuum modification, I could make this place shine. Yes, but why would you want to? This, we're not living here. <coughs> so there's terminals here that you can check out, uh, check out if you want to. I can't kind of get the feeling that this place is like a radio track, maybe. But they sell a whole bunch of different things. And one of the other things you'll notice in Fallout is that there are nicer and less nice versions of all the random loot that you find around there. Like, there's a Wakemaster alarm clock that we just grabbed, but there are also regular alarm clocks. I think that you get more goodies from scrapping the nice named uh, versions. Because it's not that they're unique, it's just that they're, uh, they're quality. Okay, and this is the part where we... There's another vacuum tube. I have to ask Ada... Open this. ...to open the door. This is kind of an MST3K, uh, homage. Sign. Turn out our flashlight. The reason that that's impractical is that if you actually wanted to get in and it had that many weird door things going on, you would just drill through the wall instead of going through all the doors. Incoming robot detected. Opening security doors. Actually, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite, uh, mo uh, not mods, DLCs, just because this area is so fascinating. Like it's really, really well put together. This, this looks like it's just all stuff that the humans left behind before they all died. Mechanic jumpsuit, that might be good. I don't remember if it is or not. Over there is... So it's weird, but you can use uh, bones as an ingredient to make fertilizer, I think. I trust you're enjoying my company. You and I make quite an effective team. And the fertilizer can be used to make all sorts of things. So this is basically telling you about the, the lockdown setup. And it says that... I think with this, um, everything is locked down unless you have uh, authorization from a whole bunch of people. So three registered class two supervisor level employees. Like if they spoke, then they could override the lockdown. Otherwise things are locked down, which is pretty sensible probably, unless people ended up dying, which they did. On the other hand, I suppose, if you don't do that, then people could just kill each other and reduce the B-A-R-N-E-Y. Now, that matches two. We need something that only matches one. B-A-R-N-E-Y. This is possible. Yes. Got it. Electrical fault in 
sensor array. <coughs> Sensors offline. And this is nice. the terminal that we would actually kind of like to be able to use to get downstairs, but we actually, uh, but it requires voice override to unlock it, so we can't. Which is kind of interesting. Keep fiddling with this. Lock. That's it. There's a room. I like the board and an aluminium caster. The scourge of the Commonwealth has used my own technology against me. You may have gained access to my sanctum, but you'll need better skills than that to defeat me. nice detached bits, but you can do those kinds of modifications, and you should do those kinds of modifications, and that's why I've been grabbing everything I can here to have the materials to do any mods to Ada on the fly, because I believe that there are some workbenches down here Use this. that give you the chance to do that. She did it when I wasn't around, which is fine. So, and a dish rag. I suppose if I have a cleaning emergency, I will be set. Uh, I have become overburdened with grabbing everything under the sun. That is okay because I will just hand it to, to Ada and keep on moving. Oh, this is a ammo box that's locked. Nice. Containing some 44 rounds. Yeah, this is uh, this is really one uh, also one of the better areas of the game for looting. There's just so much stuff here because it was essentially a factory before the war. Hey. Yes. Let's transfer all of the junk. And once we find a robotics workbench, we'll probably give her some nice upgrades. Okay, so there's an open area down here. Do not see any foes yet. Oh, there we go. There is one. And so what this what this mod does is actually it, it gives we you a nice. An enemy nearby. Did you hear that? Gives you a nice mark. Uh, Hey. Yes, ma'am. 
We want to make sure that we're always doing enough damage that we get exp uh, experience from uh, her tips. What we're looking for is actually voice samples that will let us control the uh, facility we play on Star Strike. Now occasionally I find it hard to uh, keep track of these. This is a game that really makes it easy to appreciate that thing, which probably makes it worthwhile in itself. actually talk to them. Whoa, okay. So Ada must have been knocked down, I think. And I'm getting a little bit low on health. these little models that are in the game. They're not actually useful for much. I think that's... <coughs> that's one of the voice prints that we need. I don't think we actually have to read all or any of these. Some of the text is amusing, though. So if you're playing through a microscope, I guess any self-respecting scientist would have a microscope. That would be useful if I were a melee character, but I'm not. Let's see if Ada is close enough to uh, to join me. No. Oh. 
Okay, I'm not sure where Ada went. Or if she is conscious. She should s still be in the area somewhere, but she's apparently not close enough to... Uh, a lot of the time, uh, they will teleport to your side. For modification. This is going to be a little bit awkward when I fill up again on carrying capacity unless she shows up by that point. Come on, Ada. Maybe I'll see her up here. Yes, it's a little bit weird calling a ro robot a her. They have no genetics, therefore they have no gender, but... Oh, well, what can you do? It's a game. is not super keen on ripping clocks off of walls. Pulse grenades, now those are quite useful, particularly here. we can improve Ada, and let's give her... There's a mod that I've been positively itching to give her for some time, which is... Oh, we don't have enough crystal. But a regeneration field very slowly heals all humans nearby. Which would be pretty handy. Anything else you want to do? So, ideally, I've built her in a way where she is uh, most appropriate for close combat. Crystal, I, I mentioned using a whole lot of crystal to get... Okay, so the nice thing about this is that you can just kind of hang back here and mark all your foes, and then shoot them at your leisure uh, at least once while they're stuck up. shoot them while they're stuck up on the ceiling there. And if you're far enough back, there's not a whole lot that they're going to do, <coughs> do to you. It's also a good way to restore your crit bar, minus not back up to one shot.
and then you can basically just run forward when all this is over and grab up all the juicy, tasty robot parts and attach any of them that you want to to Ada. to have in the full crit bar. Not using the Tesla rifle nearly as much as I thought I would be, but Let's see if I can take that. this actually blinks away or if it can still ignite again. do that in this game. They do not really consider that it would be a bad idea not to stand between you and what you're trying to shoot at. Anyhow, we can take care of the rest uh, up close. We'll do it live. This has dropped us uh, off where we were before, Shoot, which actually backtracked us quite a lot. Okay, not a good way to move. Yeah, it's, it's not that uh, being charged killed me, uh, or did that much damage, it's rather that being that close to the explosion is very bad for me. So more bodies to eat. Robot bodies. Again, it's kind of interesting how much we I can understand these perfectly preserved pie that's a little bit creepy. I'm not sure you should trust pie even when it's new if it's gonna last that long. But it's wrong with it. More ammo is always. 
always welcome. The nice thing about using energy weapons is that there are, there's not a lot of variety in the ammo that energy weapons use. So you don't have to worry about collecting fairly rare ammo types. Like with my sniper rifle, I really depend on always having enough 308. I wonder if I can jump up. Yes, I can. Great. teleport to your side, so she should eventually make her way back over to me. Rat poison. Actually, I suspect rat poison wouldn't still... it likely wouldn't still be good this, this long after. But... That's one of those things. It's probably a lot easier for something to be toxic to remain toxic, even if its toxicity changes forms, than for something that is uh, potable or edible to remain edible after these long uh, spans of time. Heads up. What? This takes us back under. There is a possibility... oh yeah, we're, we're, actually, we're actually hitting the possibility where... ...better for ...to pop out and then come back. Oh, that ordinarily would be a radiation barrel, but it is empty of its radioactive stuff. We might have to pop out and come back just because we can't carry any more stuff. Which I think is fine. Might give us, uh, might give me a chance to try and scrounge up a, uh, some fiber optics needed to build her healing mod. But it would still be pretty sweet if we could just build it. Do we have it? There's a torso mod. Or, oh, it's crystal, it's not fiber optics. But yeah, we're, we're trying on the crystal that we would need. But yeah, just the design of this uh, lair, it's pretty fantastic. All these interesting factory components, hidden soda machines, hints at what this place would have been like when it was completely open, not, not broken down at all. You can kind of imagine this as being a place that would pump out lots and lots of robots continually for the Commonwealth. Oh, interesting. So that does. Oh, and there's a security gate that we missed. Let's see what's in here. Sweet. Oh yeah, we were on the other side of this. Uh, just... iBot model. And some paint. Oh, and a mini nuke. Okay, that's actually pretty sweet. Don't really need... Uh, these other things. But it is... But mini nukes... They're fun if you ever... I guess the problem with them is that you might find them just a little bit too too awesome to use. It's just one of those weird ironies, uh, in that there are in a lot of games you just have some really really great fun weapons or fun items, but you never actually use them because you always think maybe there will be a, a better situation later to use this. Probably all we're going to get in this second trip.
So we're just going to head back home, heal up, drop off our stuff, and then in the next Let's Play, we will hopefully make our way to the Mechanist. have enough crystal here to do it. Or so we do. Awesome. Yeah, the regeneration field is uh, it's just nice because it just means that just hanging out with her, you can see my health bar just filled right up. It wasn't fast, but it did the job. Farm's not much, but it's something. Huh? Yep, and let's see how our settlers are doing. We have 11 people here. Uh, 10 beds, but one of the people... The, the game counts robots as people, so we're actually doing okay here. Our settlement is... Uh, it's a good set of people to do anything. Uh, I probably need to spend a little bit more time making sure that they all have arms. Oh, we have a cow. Oh. that instead of being vulnerable, you're actually going to be uh, doing okay any time there's a conflict. In fact, you might just be able to stand there and watch uh, your defenses take care of everything. So I'm actually going to scoop up everything here because we're so close to my settlement. The cost of carrying even super heavy things. We're, uh, walking slowly, it's not that big of a punishment when you're almost home. And it would be nice to know that my settlers have uh, more to work with when they're doing their defense duties. Looks like all my turrets are still okay. Yeah, it was just a nice storm of bullets that my foes walked into. Now, it's not quite explained how you keep the turrets stopped with, uh, with bullets. And the game does kind of treat them as being in inexhaustible supplies, but... It's it's nice not to need to worry about that too much. And presumably the settlers, they're, they have a functioning economy, so a lot of stuff can actually happen that's not explicitly explained. So, I will see you in the next uh, Let's Play that I do of Fallout 4. Bye.